handsome gentleman gets down on one knee to tie a poor girl's shoe. This makes Goria's heart skips a beat. But she worries that he'll do something even more sinful and flees. Unfortunately, her cell phone falls on the lawn. Ron then picks it up and brings it home. When time, who likes her, contacts her, she lies that her phone is at her workplace. She doesn't say she met Ren because she's afraid time will misunderstand her. But her lie comes to light that night. Time finds her cell phone on Ren's couch. It makes him a little jealous. The next day, Time goes to the zoo to meet her with slight annoyance. But Goria's cute outfit and face soothes his anger. While they are flirting, Kaning arrives with her boyfriend, Tesla. However, Tesla is rude and doesn't show Time any respect. He keeps provoking and teasing Time with his words and behavior. When he learns that Time is the son of the richest woman in Thailand, he sneers and asks Time to buy the zoo. <laughs> Kaning is worried about a war and pulls her boyfriend away. Time has never been belittled like this in his life. But in order to impress Goria, he has to squeeze the doll and control his temper. When he intends to return Goria's phone, she lies once again, not admitting that she's met with Ren. Time has mixed feelings and leaves to calm down. As it happens, this leads him to hear Tesla on the phone. Tesla insults Kaning and even says he wants to play Goria. <laughs> Time's anger, which he has suppressed all day, finally erupts. The noise of his beating soon draws Goria to him. Time pulls her away, fearing she'll be insulted by the scum. However, Goria refuses to listen to his explanations. She blames him for his lack of patience, preferring to solve problems with violence. <laughs> Time doesn't argue and walks away disappointed. After seeing his furious behavior, Kevin and MJ take turns to persuade him. Don't you think about how violent you used to be? It's not surprising that Goria would misunderstand you. You two just lack communication, but that doesn't mean you don't love each other. Time thinks they're right. So he goes back to school to talk to Goria. But Goria is running towards the rooftop and doesn't notice his shouts. Time follows her up to the rooftop, only to see her in a tight embrace with Ron. It turns out that after Ren followed his crush, Mira, to France, he felt that the gap between him and Mira was getting wider and wider. She spends her days trying to be a good human rights lawyer to help others. But Ren is just a high school student, he can't help her at all. One day, he saw a mature man by Mira's side. Ren finally realized that he and Mira were not in the same world. So he left Mira in a state of depression. He jumped into another woman's arms and tried to find comfort. But that doesn't make him feel any better. When Goria saw the revelation of Myra's relationship on the cafeteria TV, she rushed to comfort Ron. Unexpectedly, she cries even harder than this heartbroken man, because she can't bear to see Ren give up on himself. When Ren denies himself, she is sure of his importance to her. If Ren hadn't saved her when she was bullied by classmates, she would have dropped out of school. Ron gains strength from her words. He hugs her and reassures her not to cry. Man sees his best friend cuddling with his girlfriend. Time completely loses his mind. Just then, a sleazy guy brags about his skills in picking up girls. <laughs> Time takes it all out on him. Goria hears the commotion and rushes to stop him. Thinking his best friend had snatched the girl he loved, Time goes insane. He announces in public that he breaks with Ren and removes him from the F4 group. Goria forces him to use violence and pushes him into the classroom. She blames him for going too far and keeps saying good things about Ron. Seeing her defending Ren so much, Time becomes a green-eyed monster and he almost throws his fists at her. Why should I become a better person? You wouldn't choose me anyway. Goria is frozen in fear by his violent tendencies. To make matters worse, a video of him hitting someone is posted on the internet. But his mother quickly sets things right. By donating money to the school and using her business to threaten the victim's parents, Time's mother manages to shut everyone up. But instead of worrying about her son's heartbreak, Rosalyn is more worried about the company's losses. She investigates Time's relationship with Goria. She's upset that he's losing his mind over a poor girl. So she threatens Time to give up Goria or she'll do something. Time gets terrified because he knows what his mother is capable of. Time's sister used to love an ordinary boy. But with Rosalind's coercion and interference, her sister eventually married a man she didn't love and lost her happiness. Meanwhile, 
Rin takes Goria out for a walk to try to ease her worries. But every time Rin takes her somewhere, Goria makes comparisons to time taking her out. She says, tongue in cheek, that she had more fun with Rin. This gives Rin some hope. Goria tries to escape, but she accidentally knocks over her phone. To pick up the phone, she gets a closer look at the man she used to crush on. But her heart no longer skips a beat. Because all she could think about was that silly, grumpy time. When they walk into the mall, Kaning's boyfriend Tesla is holding another woman in an intimate way. Goria is furious and ready to teach him a lesson. Luckily, Playboy Kevin shows up. By showing off his money, Kevin easily wins the admiration of Tesla's woman. Tesla accuses her of being a gold digger. The woman shames him for being a cheapskate and breaks up with him instantly. Embarrassed, Tesla runs out of the luxury store but runs into Kaning. Suddenly, Kevin gives Kaning the bag he just bought and calls her his girlfriend. It turns out that Kevin met Kaning on his way to find Rin. They were sitting in a coffee shop when they saw Tesla cheating on her. Kaning was so sad that she cried her heart out. Kevin pointed out that she was too naive. It's not worth crying over a scumbag like that. So Kevin decided to pretend to be her boyfriend and humiliate Tesla with her good looks and money. Tesla can't help but be sarcastic. He then insults another member of F4, Time, by saying that he loves such a poor girl. Goria finally knows why Time hit him at the zoo. She had misunderstood Time. She angrily kicks him to the ground. Time is a lot more valuable than you give it credit for. Rin sees who Goria likes, eventually. Though she doesn't admit to liking Time verbally, she subconsciously thinks of him as her boyfriend. In the evening, he calls Time's number and asks him to meet him. Soon, Time arrives at the abandoned gym with the rest of the F4. However, he isn't pissed off at Ren anymore. He casually says he doesn't care about Goria. He'd rather give Goria to Rin than lose his best friend. Ran is shocked. But he knows Time too well to know that he didn't mean it. In order to gauge Time's feelings, he deliberately belittles Goria. Goria likes me. But I'm not gonna date her. I'll keep stalling her to give her hope. After all, she just wants a rich boyfriend. Time is completely enraged and punches him in the face. Run doesn't back down and swings back. M, J, and Kevin come out to stop the fight. But they're not spared. The F4 somehow get into a fight in the water. After they get tired, Time grabs Rin by the collar and confesses that he loves Goria. Rin finally breathes a sigh of relief and says he lied to them. He did it to force Time to speak his mind. He tells Time everything Goria did and said during the day, showing that the person Goria really loves is Time. Time's eyes immediately brighten up. Now he doesn't have to choose between his best friend and the woman he loves. Just as the F4 are getting back together, Goria arrives. Ren asks her to say how she really feels about Time. But Goria refuses to admit that she likes Time. So Ren has to reveal that she called Time her boyfriend at the mall this afternoon. Time gets all excited and happy to hear that. Goria then takes a cotton swab and treats his wound. Time looks at her with great affection. She apologizes to him and says she shouldn't have misunderstood him. Time is overjoyed and takes her into his arms. Time admits that being with her made him want to change. Ever since he was a kid, everyone told him he was privileged and more special than everyone else. But in fact, he had no self-confidence at all. He was afraid of losing his power, of not being recognized. So he wanted to take control of the school through the red card game and prove that he could be a good heir. But after seeing Goria's defiance, he realized he'd made a mistake and hurt people. Now he wants to change and become a man worthy of Goria. Time promises not to use violence and closes the gym, which is used as a punishment. But Time's mother hates change. Rosalyn forces her son's girlfriend to break up with him. Because she considers the Goria family to be filthy poor. <laughs> Goria doesn't cave in. She explained that her relationship with Time was something money couldn't buy. <laughs> Rosalyn smugly states that pride is not enough. But Goria isn't giving up. Rosalyn has to keep raising the stakes. <laughs> Suddenly, Goria's mother slams the table and stands up. She can't stand to watch Rosalyn humiliate her daughter. She accuses Rosalyn of being condescending. This makes Rosalyn laugh. 
แล้วเราสองคนมีอะไรเท่ากันด้วยเหรอคะ Goria's mother can't stand it any longer so she grabs the smelly fish sauce and throws it on her Rosalind just waves her hand gracefully in the face of her predicament as Goria's mother drives her away Rosalind doesn't lose her temper She just calmly points out that no matter how hard Goria tries, she'll never be good enough for her son. Since the money bribe doesn't work, Rosalind decides to teach Goria's family a lesson. She uses her power to bankrupt Goria's father's company. Goria's father loses his job and moves with Goria's mother to another state to plant an orchard. Goria and her brother remain here to study to make money. Goria has to work more jobs. After time finds out the truth, he angrily accuses his mother. Rosalind refuses to back down. She points out that Goria will become a liability to the group and put his future in jeopardy. Time musters the courage to rebel against his mother. He wants to use his power to help Goria, so he spends millions on the house across the street from Goria's. He knows she doesn't like to bother anyone, so he lives in her neighborhood to protect her. But as a young master who grew up in a wealthy family, his ability to live on his own is really worrying. He doesn't know how to wash clothes or use a washing machine. The sight of cockroaches scares the hell out of him. He almost sets the house on fire while ironing his clothes. Goria solves his problems every night and doesn't sleep a wink. So I wonder who's protecting who. Thankfully, time is serious this time. Not joking. With the help of Goria's brother, he learns to cook and do housework. Goria sees his determination to change himself. She knows deep down that what he's doing is very hard for him, but her life isn't easy either. They are both doing things they can't cope with in order to be with each other. His efforts give her confidence and strength. She decides to step out of her comfort zone and give him a response. On the night of Time's birthday, Goria finds the courage to walk into the lavish party. Time's mother desperately tries to humiliate her, but that doesn't bring down Goria. She says that even if Rosalind belittles her. She'll never feel inferior. She has the right to decide who she goes out with. Wow, the F3 are shocked to hear that and impressed. After all, they've never seen anyone defy Rosalind before. However, how could the young couple compete with a powerful business tycoon? Just as Goria is about to give Time her birthday present, Rosalind grabs the microphone and makes an announcement that blows them away. This is Maroon recap. If there's a movie you'd like to watch. Feel free to leave a comment and let me know. Let's watch a movie together and experience something different. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.